See, so yeah, I'm sure that people who are listening to me, especially women, yep. they would understand me perfectly. You yeah. see that? What are we going to eat this morning? Mm. What are we eating this night? You know, having to rack your brain as to what to prepare mm. is another assignment on its own. Like, yeah. it's, it's a full-time job. Trust me. I, I don't play agree <laughs> It could be exhausting. And then people like the husbands don't help. Huh? You the- call them to ask them, um, okay, what would you like to eat? And they're like, whatever you have. Anything. Whatever you have is what? <laughs> Whatever you have is one. Oh I'm, I am confused. That's why I'm I'm calling to ask you. Yeah. What would you like? And you're telling me whatever I have. What if I said nothing? Is that I don't have nothing? <laughs> what are you going to do? Are we going to eat nothing? Okay, so uh, that's like shaking tables. But I totally agree with you. The truth <laughs> is, a lot of men, especially married couples, right now listening, or uh, those uh, in a relationship, you understand that. This is a scenario that has happened Multiple more than one it, w- amongst you or between you. Now, the truth is, I did not know that. I, I did not really realize that it takes a whole lot, you know, to come to make those choices of what to, to, to consume. Yeah. Because you eat every day, three times a, a day. day. I mean, every you have to, like, day of the week. Make sure no the break. Food is balanced and all of yeah. that. And sometimes we run out of ideas. So, and that's why we reach out and say, you know what? What, what, what can you make? What can. What, what would you like? It's not that we don't, we just want you to give us ideas. Ideas. At the end of the day, you say whatever you have. Yeah, you know, this issue of say, selling me anything. <laughs> I hate you. It's always piss me off. Thank well, you. When my husband would tell me, Thank sunshine, you. anything. What do you mean by anything? God bless you. Just tell me what you want to eat. Simple. Tell me a lot of work. Yeah. To think of what to cook. Exactly. Mm. They say anything. And when I now prepare it, they say, ah, you should have. I say, okay, you are eating this, so. <laughs> you are not eating this. Let's forget it. God bless you. Please him. do us a favor, husband. Yeah. Tell us what you want to eat. Mm. It makes it easier and lighter. All right. You know, say this matter. <laughs> we will we be women also. Mm. You know, say they tire us. Mm. You open your deep freezer and you close it back. <laughs> You don't know what to eat because the same food every day. Oh my god. So we're not gonna really blame our husband to say anything. Mm. Because they are tired, the same thing every day. <laughs> that is what is going on. Mm. Food the tired person. Right. That's why they'll say anything. Thank mm. you. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Uh Mr. Collins. Yes, sir. Women get to them while that's alive. They have problems. You are asking me as your husband, as your wife, what we, what would I like to eat? I say anything. It's not to make the work easier for them. But, but, Hello? I'm listening. Go ahead. So it's to make the work easier. If I want a special food for my wife, mm. I go to the kitchen to make the special food by myself for everybody. Mm. So if I not give you money as your husband, provide the money for you, it's not for you to cook whatever you want to cook. For me to eat, you are my wife. Oh. Okay. Okay. You know, yeah. th- this man certainly believes that it's the wife's duty to cook. Whatever he saying. says. If he says this is it, anything, cook it, just cook anything and bring it. Yes. But you see, if you want to be truthful to yourself, <laughs> there are days you say anything, they'll go and do pap and beans. And you say, hey, I didn't feel like eating pap and beans. Made this. So, so let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. Uh, uh, let's stop using let's stop saying let's be real here <laughs> you know? this person here says hi guys I stopped using anything for my wife she did it for me one funny day by giving me Gary and Granol oh, <laughs> <you see? laughs> and when I complained she replied you told me anything, anything. Says, since then I stopped using anything the word anything then she provides something oh, good now anything is always anything for women they always give you anything but in the recent, a man wants something different but, but he's afraid to say it. That yeah. is what I want to yes. the, wife, the wife might complain and said, yeah. uh, she, you know that the final is that's why I don't say anything. That's so why right. he he says, uh, see, eh, this question followed by the answer is the most common FAQ, which is frequently asked questions and answer in Nigerian homes. Yep. My wife had once put six stones of green peas and six tiny periwinkles on plate for me after I answered. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> That's the send of the message. You know, it says we tried using a timetable, but the pocket is not like before, and yeah. we can't afford the var- varieties That's because right. of other responsibilities. Mm-hmm. What we do now is ensuring we have abundant tea or bread, gari jebu that slaps with respect, and <laughs> we make sure. Uh, we make more egusi soup, which can go across meals, but yeah. rice and swallow. swallow. That's right. Aww. <laughs>